the government to do. Is it a screeching U-turn or a sensible road ahead? Well, it is a U-turn and it's a sensible road ahead at the same time. It should have been always the plan. Uh, either the Prime Minister should have gone or they should have asked the King to go. The point of having a monarchy is that sometimes when the, the Prime Minister is engaged on policy matters, you can have a, a King representing you on um, diplomatic matters uh, and you can still have high levels of head of state. The fact that they didn't want either was very strange. And yeah, and this was Liz Truss around. originally saying that the King, it, or it, it, suggesting the King should it, go. Well, I think, but if you suggest the King doesn't go, then, then the King doesn't go, doesn't it? You know, that's how the, our democracy works. Um, but I think it's right that he turns around, and he is right fundamentally. We led at the last COP, uh, the climate Glasgow. change negotiations in Glasgow. And if we want to be energy secure, the only real and sensible way of being energy secure is also being low to no carbon, that is nuclear renewables. Yeah. And we need to be leading the way in that and leading the conversations so that our companies are getting the businesses for that as well when right. that is rolled out globally. James, welcome. Why is he so late to the party? Could it be that it was just yesterday that Boris Johnson announced he was going and suddenly Mr Sunak thought, I'd better get in quick. I think we're becoming too fixated on this. If the King wants to go, of course he can go. If the Prime Minister wants to go, of course he can go. I think that ultimately people are busy. Diaries are pretty much booked up months in advance. It's an important activity for them, and I'm pleased that we've got the right outcome now. But looking at what he said in his tweet and, and underlining how important it is, why on earth hadn't he declared this originally? I can't speak for him. Um, there will be good reasons for everything. Clearly, he's new in post, the Prime Minister. He's uh, clearly got a lot on his plate. He's focused on domestic issues, quite rightly. I think we need to defer to his judgment.